Welcome to this Itasca featured video. In this tutorial we will demonstrate how to map a random point cloud with poor pressure values onto the grid points of a FLAC 3D model using Python. This tutorial will guide you through the steps to import the additional functionalities we want to use. Create a simple FLAC 3D model. Read in data from the text file. And define the poor pressure values at the FLAC 3D grid points. Create a new project and open the Python files. In the project pane, under data files, you should now see two files. Where double P refers to pore pressure and the other refers to initial pore pressure. These files have different purposes. The pore pressure file generates random pore pressure values at X, Y, and Z positions. However, this will not be discussed in this tutorial. The initial pore pressure file interpolates and assigns that random pore pressure data. This is the file we will discuss today. We will run selections of the script at a time, so mark row 1 through 5 and run them by right clicking and selecting Run Selection or use the command Ctrl Shift E. There are some built in functions in Python that are very convenient for this tutorial. With the import statement, we can import the additional functionalities we want to use, where we are especially interested in the grid data function. First, we import the Itasca module, which defines the interaction between Python and FLAC 3D, and shorten the name as IT. The IT command function is used to issue a series of FLAC 3D commands. Always give the command, Python reset state false, at the beginning of a Python program. If this command is not given, the Python variables and functions are deleted when the FLAC 3D model state is reset via the model new or model restore commands. Then we import the grid point array, NumPy, and grid data modules. NumPy is a Python library that provides fast operations. SciPy is a collection of mathematical algorithms and convenience functions built on the NumPy extension of Python, where the convenience function grid data offers a simple interface to interpolation in n dimensions. To shorten the typing required, we import these modules as shortened names, GPA and NP. Then we create a simple model. Mark row 7 through 14 and run the selection. The triple quotes are used to define a multi-line string. These commands create zones and set some properties. Line 13 import the geometric data from the geometry file TMP. This geometry file is generated in the poor pressure Python file as an ASCII Itasca geometry file format as nodes so that we can visualize the input data. Go to the plot pane and build the plot for the simple model by choosing zone under zone. Change the following attributes for the coming steps, color by, to contour, and zone value, to pore pressure. Go back to the data file and mark row 16 and 17, and run the selection. This will read in the text file as an array named data. The text file corresponds to the locations of where the pore pressures are known, that is the X, Y and Z positions, as well as the pore pressure value data. The array is then split into the positions of the pore pressures as well as the pore pressure values. Go back to the plot pane and add geometry under user-defined data. Change color by, to contour. You can also adjust the node size by going to nodes and increase the size. Go back to the data file and mark row 19 through 21 and run that selection. First we will define the grid point pore pressure by calling the function grid data. 
This function does a quadratic interpolation in 3D to define the values at the grid points. This means that we will call the grid data function with the arrays of the positions of the known pore pressures, the pore pressure values, and where you want to know the pore pressures. As we want to know the pore pressures at the grid points, we use the function gpa.pose, which returns an array of all the FLAC 3D grid point positions. Lastly, we set the grid point pore pressure. Go back to the plot pane. The point cloud has been mapped onto the grip points so that we have a FLAC 3D model with the initialized data. For example can you see that there are higher pore pressure at the bottom than the top and that the green dots corresponds to where the green zones are, the red dots corresponds where the red zones are etc. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For a more detailed introduction to using Python in Itasca software and more information about Python, please see the links in the description box.